Hello friends. In this video, we are going to study that how we can determine the transfer function of a system when we are given the state model or if the system is given to us in the state space representation form. So let's study that how we can find out the transfer function. So if we see, we have to uh, derive the transfer function from the state model. So if in a generalized way, we represent the state model of a system. So it is given in the form. For a general state model. State model is what? The state space equations. So we have the state space equations as x dot is equals to ax plus bu and y is equals to cx plus du. So these two are the state space equations. And they combinedly represent the state model of the system. Now, if we take the Laplace transform of both the equations on both the sides, then we will get Okay, so if we are taking the Laplace transform of both the equations, assuming the initial conditions to be zero, then we will obtain the Laplace transform of x dot will be s xs. This will be a xs plus b us. Then Laplace transform of this second equation will be Ys equals to okay. So we have obtained the Laplace transform assuming the initial conditions to be 0. Now from these two equations, mark this as our first equation, this is second equation. So from these two equations, if we take Xs, this Axs to the left hand side then it will be s x s minus a x s equals to b u s taking x s common so it will be s i minus a it is x s equals to b u s we have put here i, i means the identity matrix because a is a matrix. We know that in the state space representation a, b, c, d are the matrices. So the, uh, the subtraction or addition of a matrix, it should be with a matrix. Now here we have only a variable s. So this s has to be multiplied with the identity matrix so that this si will become a matrix and then the matrix subtraction can be made. Okay. So this just i identity matrix. What is an identity matrix? If we take a 2 by 2 identity matrix, then it will be 1, 0, 0, 1. This will be a 2 by 2 square matrix, identity matrix. So if we multiply S with this identity matrix, then it will be S, 0, 0, S. Okay. And then we can have this subtraction with the A matrix. Suppose A matrix is also a 2 by 2 matrix. So having the parameters A, B, C, D. So this subtraction can be made. So for this matrix subtraction, we have this identity matrix we have introduced here. Now this excess and this SI minus 8 uh, term because it will become a matrix. This is a matrix. This is matrix. So when subtraction is made, it will also be a matrix. And when this term, it will be bought to the 
right hand side so it will get converted into inverse inverse of a matrix it will become si minus a inverse b us so this is the value of xs now in the second equation we have ys is equals to cxs plus dus so from uh, substituting the value of xs from here into this second equation we will get ys equals to cxs so xs is what si minus a inverse b us plus we have dus So this ys equals to c si minus a inverse b plus we have d and us can be taken as common. Now transfer function is what? It is the ratio of the Laplace transform of the output and the input. So output is ys and input is us taking the ratio of their Laplace transform so ys upon us it will be c si minus a inverse b plus d so this is the transfer function we can write this as ts ratio of the Laplace transform of output and the input taking the initial conditions to be zero because in the definition of transfer function there is a condition that you have to assume the initial conditions to be zero that is why while taking the Laplace transform we have also taken the same condition that assuming the initial conditions to be zero so this is the transfer function of the system okay we can write it here ts is our transfer function or we can say that it is the transfer matrix and ts is equals to c si minus a inverse b plus d where a is our system matrix b is our input matrix d is our transmission matrix and c is our output matrix okay and if we are given the abcd parameters or abcd matrices of the state space representation then we can easily calculate the transfer function of the system now let's take an example so that you can easily understand that how we can calculate the transfer function of a system So we are given the state model of the system and we have to obtain the transfer function. So we know that the state model it is what x dot is equals to ax plus bu and y is equals to cx plus du. So this is our A matrix, this is our B, this is C and D is not given so D is equals to 0. So A, B, C, D matrices we can get from this state model. A will be 0, 1, minus 2, minus 3. B is 0 and 1. C is 1, 0 and D is 0. We have got all the four matrices A, B, C and D and we know that the transfer function it is what T S is equals to C Si minus A inverse B plus D. Now here D is equals to 0. So 
transfer function formula it will become c s i minus a inverse b now we have to uh, find out c is given to us b is given to us we have to find out this s i minus a inverse so first we will find s i minus a so this will be s i is an identity matrix you have to take an identity matrix uh, according to the a matrix what will be the order of a that order of identity matrix you have to use now here a is a 2 by 2 matrix 2 cross 2 2 rows and 2 columns so here you have to take the identity matrix also as 2 cross 2 that is 2 by 2 matrix you have to use minus a a is what 0 1 minus 2 and minus 3 apply this multiply this s inside minus we have here 0 1 minus 2 minus 3 so it will become s minus 1 2 then s minus minus 3 it will be s plus 3 so this is s minus 1 2 s plus 3 will be the value of si minus a now you have to obtain si minus a inverse so inverse of a matrix it is equal to the adjoint of the matrix upon the determinant of the matrix here we have to find out SI minus A inverse. So it will be equal to adjoint of SI minus A upon determinant of SI minus A. Okay. Let us first obtain the adjoint and then the determinant. Determinant will be SI minus A. Determinant will be what? The first term S multiplied with S plus 3 minus this multiplication of these two terms. So this will be S, S plus 3 minus, minus 2. This will be S square plus 3S plus 2. This is the determinant. Now it joined. Adjoint is what? How we determine the adjoint? For first term, neglect these two rows. Then we have S plus 3. So we will write here S plus 3. You can study the matrix algebra that how we can uh, calculate the inverse, adjoint and determinant of the matrices. This is S plus 3. Now for minus 1, we have 2 but with a minus sign. So this is s plus 3, this is 1, this is minus 2 and this is s. These are the adjoint of the matrix SI minus A. Now determinant we know, adjoint we know so we can easily calculate the inverse. one upon our determinant is s squared plus 3s plus 2 and adjoint is s plus 3 1 minus 2 and s now divide this inside we will get s plus 3 upon so this is the si minus a inverse now our transfer function is c si minus a inverse and then b 
so substitute the value of c inverse and the b here c is what 1 and 0 inverse is this and b is what 0 and 1 so this is the matrix multiplication if we take the matrix multiplication here then the value of ts will come out to be 1 upon s square plus 3s plus 2 Okay. because if we multiply this this is what 1 cross 2 this is 2 into 2 so we will get if we multiply this then we will get s plus 3 upon s square plus 3s plus 2 this will be 0 and then we will obtain 1 upon s square plus 3s plus 2 then the resultant it will be multiplied with this so we will left with only this term 1 upon s square plus 3s plus 2 but because this will multiply with 0 it will become 0 so only we will have this term 1 upon s square plus 3s plus 2 so this is the transfer function of the system Okay, so what we have uh, done here, uh, we have taken an example that how we can derive the transfer function using the state model of the system. So just you have to calculate all these variables SI minus A inverse, ABCD matrix are also uh, are already given to you in the state model. Just put their values and you can calculate the transfer function. So I hope this topic is clear to you that how we can determine the or how we can derive the transfer function using the state model of the system. Thank you.